Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Corlick from Figure It Out Productions. The following video is a video of some kind, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it's Adam here, and I am currently with Rob Thanos, Rob Janos, uh, and we are heading up to the Canadian Maple Empire, specifically into Quebec to check out Montreal. What we're going to be doing in this video is checking out a whole bunch of game stores, every single one that we realistically can do in the basically one day that we're going to be there. Uh, however, on the way there, we did make one brief little stop at this tiny little place uh, in upstate New York, so you can see that first, but then it's all Maple country. So Rob and I are almost at the border. We stopped for gas and then we saw this place. Naturally with the video game stuff we're like oh we better check this out. So we went inside and we walked away with some cool stuff. Rob you want to show them what you got here? Yeah. All right. I got a Casio keyboard. If that's not the loopy right? Is that a loopy no, attachment? It's not. it's not loopy related. What? Got a Dreamcast controller in the box. Very apropos. And then I never see Dreamcast games out in the wild. He gave us a deal for half off if you buy two or more. So, got and then, a couple of good Dreamcast games. And I picked up some stuff. Most importantly, the Santa Claus the trilogy, the on trilogy on Blu-ray. Blu-ray. And uh, this, this is, is actually nice find. this <laughs> one actually is special. Look, this the Sportsman Edition is one of the rarest OG Xbox games, oddly enough. So very happy to get that. David Flea Market. So, we just arrived at the first video game store on our quest called Respawn and Replay. Right, Rob? Yeah. And it's uh, it is. some guy's house. <laughs> because Google doesn't know how to distinguish between online stores and physical brick and mortar stores. Right, it's some, apparently it's an it's online, online store, store. <laughs> and that's just based on that guy's house. So, clearly we're not going there, so on to the next, hopefully, real one. Okay, attempt number two. We are now at a flea market type of thing, and inside we're hoping to find random gaming goodness. I have found many of these like in Ontario, a lot of places where they just have like a ton of gaming stuff. So we'll see if we find anything. Adam, what are you looking for? Well, my goal, if I can find it, is the Crystal Xbox, which never came out in the US, but Canada got. But I don't want to pay a lot for it because it's really not all that expensive or valuable. <laughs> you see Kirby's Adventure back there? I was talking to Frank at the Video Game History Foundation, and he said technically that is the only North, well, the only Canadian exclusive release uh, of an NES game because the ROM is different. It's in French, where I guess that's not how it was anywhere else. So interesting, but I'm not going to get it. So uh, we're inside this game store in this flea market, and I found something you never, ever, ever see. A, a North American Apple Pippin, and it even has games. Incidentally, I have this version, this game, but the Japanese version. Never even seen those. That, that is truly something special. That's just wow. My only knock against this place is they don't really put price tags on anything, so I have no idea what anything costs. Those are clearly just old Sharpie markings, unfortunately. That's the manual. And the styrofoam, the original box for the North American version of the Pippin. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Box on the side. Yeah. That's so crazy. 97. Yes. Okay, yeah. Look at that. Man. That's so cool. No, oh, this is. This is fucking cool, man. <laughs> this is. I agree. Very, very cool. So we just got out of that place. Um, that was an experience, yeah. man. Like, you guys saw some of the footage earlier, really, but... I mean, that was like walking into a museum. It was museum quality It was stuff. museum quality stuff. Like, this guy had crazy, crazy things. So with the Pippin, though, uh, if you're not familiar with it, that was Apple's only ill-fated game console, and it was a pathetic attempt. But that was the North American version, which you just... I think I've seen one. He's waving you in. Yeah, okay. uh, Rob's paying more attention to me than he is the traffic. Which I'm is not paying good. attention to the traffic. Yeah, well, you're not doing a good job. Of it. Anyway, um, if you've never seen the North American Pippin, I don't blame you. Like, I think I've seen one once ever. Uh, and it's very, 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 very ridiculously rare. But we were talking to the guy for a while. He was really cool about it. Basically, we thought that... because. Rob was trying to do this whole thing in French. Because his English was not good. Yeah, yeah, and so he was trying his not good French. Yeah. And we thought that the guy was basically saying, like, okay, I'm charging a thousand Canadian, which would for us would have been like 800 American. 
and that would have included the three games. It would have included two the controllers. Two controllers was ridiculous. The it would have box. The box, oh. as well as this like modem on the base. And we were sitting there thinking like, wow, that's mm, maybe not like a, not a bad deal. Not the here. worst deal I've ever heard, but at the same time we were like. Maybe we can get him to do 900 Canadian, and he said the tax was already pre-built. Tax in Quebec is 15%, so he said it was all built in already, so I was like, okay, so you don't have to factor that in. Um, so we were considering it, but then at some point he switched the conversation to English, and it, as he's telling me this story about how he got it and all this stuff, which was actually kind of fascinating, because he's like, a storage unit, it was right? a storage unit situation, and somebody brought it in for only two, and he bought it from him for 200 bucks. He said it didn't work, but he had fixed it because it just needed like a little belt replacement or whatever and he said it was all good after that but they did everything else to recap it clean it all that sort of thing um and then he's like i've had offers people come in and offer me like three thousand i say no four thousand i say no and i'm thinking like why is he willing to sell it to me for a thousand this is like the weirdest upsale ever and then at some point he just randomly drops me he's like yeah so i'm asking uh five thousand three hundred he's like i would give it to you guys if you guys are really serious i would give it to you for five thousand uh but you'd have to do it in cash and we were just like <laughs> like this is when we were hesitant about maybe doing it for a thousand so, so when Canadian. He was, so when he was saying in French, I heard the mille, which is like a thousand, and like, but I didn't hear the song. So uh, yeah, so I was like, oh wow, you know, a thousand's a really good fucking deal. It's like you should do that, but it's like good for the fucking modem and the games. Yeah, I mean, the to be realistic, like, I, crazy, I, yeah. I don't know if I could really have afforded to do it anyway. Like yeah. if it was even a thousand, which again would have been more like eight hundred for us. Yeah. It would have been one of those things where if I did that. I'd be hurting for a while. I'd be eating a lot of like ramen noodles and stuff, but, um, but what I, would, I would have to buy you dinner tonight. Pretty much. You'd be paying for everything for the rest of the way. And I'd have to just owe you somehow. Owe you in like, you know, other ways. Pay me in Pippin games. Um, but, uh, <laughs> in all seriousness though, yeah, we couldn't, uh, yeah, so that didn't happen. So anyway, we're on to our next place, which hopefully is a little more successful. Like that place, again, it had crazy, crazy stuff. Crazy good stuff. And you know, like, it was cool to see. Like, I found the Crystal Xbox. I've been looking for the damn Crystal Xbox. It was in the box and everything. It was yeah. great, I, it's not, The thing with the Crystal Xbox is it's not hard to find it. It's hard to find it for a price I would be willing to pay for it. Because no. I don't need the controller. I don't need the box. I don't need the games. I don't even need the cables. I just want the unit. But the, all the guys we've seen selling it, either here or when I was in Vancouver not too long ago, are selling it like complete and immaculate condition. No one just has like a junker one, which is actually the one I want. Mm -hmm. um, so my cap on that is like $50 CAD, which is like $40 US. That's like all I'm willing to pay for it because I don't want it that bad. Um, he also had the green uh, OG Xbox, the, but the not Halo edition, the one that just has nothing on it, uh, which I've talked about in other videos and stuff. And then he also, oddly enough, had the Japanese black smoke Xbox, which fortunately I already have, so I don't really care about that, but still, cool well, to he see. He had the weird, uh, was the Hong Kong? Yeah, it, uh, Korean, no, 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 no. Korean. it's a Korean yeah. NES, uh, which apparently, I just found this out according to my Discord, there was a very limited, like, North Korean release of that. <laughs> That exact one. He even had a specific game for it too. Uh, we think it was forty-five dollars Canadian, but I, I think that was just the price of the controller. I don't. Because um, everything else in there was just—it was like good museum stuff. Where he's like asking a lot for it because he doesn't really want to sell it. Like he straight up told us he didn't really want to sell the Pippin. He was just kind of in that I will sell it if it's really absorbent. Blow me, blow me away. Yeah, exactly. So, anyway, on to the next place. In case you guys want to see something really weird, this is a Tim Hortons hotel. That is a Tim Hortons hotel. Don't look at Tim Hortons. It'll hurt you. Bad. So we were driving along and all of a sudden we saw Blanco. And uh, it's got freaking Mario on it, so we thought, what the hell, let's go take a look. So our quest to Bonko wasn't very successful, but uh, whatever, <laughs> I can't read it. But here's where we are now, let's see if we get anything else. It's marked on the side, it's kind of serious in there. You see the price? 120. 120, cool. It's complete embossed. Yeah, that is very cool. I have that, that's old, and an Odyssey one. Look at this, guys, there is a an Amiga CD32 version of Battletoads. Rare made it and everything. This is sealed, this is ridiculous. And unfortunately, no, it's not actually $15 or it would be coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> okay, so we just came out of... The Retro Galaxy. The Retro Galaxy. And we got stuff. This is an awesome store. You should definitely yes. go here. We hung out there for a while. They have cool things. And we got, we got the things. They gave us a nice little deal. 
absolutely fantastic, highly recommended. We are at Retro MTL. Everybody, and I mean everybody, has recommended that we go to this one. So this is kind of an unreasonably high bar for a store we've never been to, but here we go. So right there you can see Coleco Gemini's. That's basically a community exclusive. And look at this, in television with the keyboard. <laughs> look at that, that's crazy. Okay, so we just completed our little trip to Retro Montreal. I got some 360 games, but you don't get to see what they are yet. Anyway, Spoilers. and homie here, what did you get? Sparkster. We got Sparkster for the Genesis. Now, I'm gonna make you feel really bad. I've had that for years, it's on the shelf. It's actually in the background of most of my videos, so. But uh, anyway, I'm glad you got it. So our little micro review, this place was super nice. The people yeah. in there, these girls, super, super cool. Like everybody was just chill. It was really, really nice. They let us see anything we needed to see, video game wise. Great like, hey. Yeah. And then a lot of weird little exclusives, like the Coleco Gemini was in there and just some other oddities. So yep. yeah, I would say if you're in Montreal, you should check this place out for sure. So we don't expect to find anything here, but we decided to make a stop at uh, this little quaint place. Canadian chain. This little local Canadian chain. As you can see, proudly because of the maple leaf in it. We are now at Le Coin Game Over. And we're gonna go inside and see what we can get here. And it happens to be next to Magic the Gathering stuff, which I don't care about, but again, I voice Soren one. So, I found this kind of interesting. It may just look like a standard PS4 game. This is actually the Saudi Arabian version of this game. How just random is that? So quick little review of that place. Uh, I didn't end up getting anything, at least for myself. Rob spent money. <laughs> he got good stuff. He got good stuff. He got good stuff. I spent more, I, I spent more money at the last place. Damn. Okay, well, he's he makes bank. He has a real job. <laughs> anyway, so I uh, I just bought something for a friend of mine who will pay me back. So that was just something he'd wanted. Uh, PS2 game. Uh, Animusha Blade Warriors, I think it was. The only yeah. Animusha game he didn't have. And he had wanted it, and it was like $30 USD he was willing to pay. This was $30 Canadian, so it was a good deal for him. Um, but overall, the store was cool. Uh, I would say prices in general, decent. Solid. Um, the coolest thing they had, though, was a boxed, presumably complete, uh, Turbo Duo uh, in the box. And I, I, it was expensive. It's like the equivalency of about $1,000 US. But, you know, I posted on my Discord and people were like, that's ridiculously cheap for one of those in a box. Like, one of the guys especially was like, if I had been there with you, that, that would be in my, in the car. I would have bought that. So we just came out of, uh, read it for me, Rob. Uh, Compsense.com. I don't know. My French is terrible. Couple pickups. Yeah. Little Vita so, games. So ignore the price tag for two reasons. One, obviously it's Canadian, so the exchange rate basically take off 20%. But these guys were super chill, and what did they do for you? They gave me a discount on both discs since I got two of them. So yeah. And sales tax was already built into it, so yeah. it actually was a really good deal. So yeah, it was like 50 bucks for both. Yeah. Really good. Shout out to these guys. Come out here if you're ever looking for video games. They got a nice section back there. So we're back from our game hunting adventures. Unfortunately, while I did find the Crystal Xbox, you did. I was never able to really get it. The prices were just not what I was looking for because I just want the unit. I just want the console itself. I don't need it to be in mid condition. That's the only way I ever found it, which included all the stuff and it was like a bajillion dollars. Uh, anyway, go ahead and show them what you got though. Yeah, I kind of killed it today. Uh, did. Yeah, we stopped at what, like five places? I don't remember offhand. Yeah. Oh, it was quite a few. But uh, yeah, I got, uh, met some really cool people, uh, spent some money. I got uh, Sparkster for Genesis. That was on my list for a while. Couple cool looking 360 games. Which ones? Uh, Knight's Contract and Blades of Time. Yeah, I was telling him about Knight's Contract, the only place I've ever seen that game. Because he said it when he saw it, he was like, I've never seen this one before. I'm like, yes, the only time I've ever seen that was up in Anchorage, Alaska. Must be in Northern Hemisphere. I huh? don't get it, but that's the only time I've ever seen it. Uh, the last uh, Beautiful Joe game on the GameCube that I needed, Red Hot Rumble. Uh, I collect box mass, uh, boxed Game Gear stuff, so I got. Legend of Illusion for the Game Gear. Couple cool out of print PS4 games, Gravity Rush 2 and Never Ending Nightmares, that's a limited run game. And another subset that I'm collecting right now is our M-rated DS games. So I ended up getting Teresia. There you go. And you guys will have to watch Playlet to see my pickups. Yes, spoilers. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this adventure through the Canadian Maple Empire. Uh, and look forward to more videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the social media stuff in the description. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that. And you know, the thing is, we probably will do more travel videos like this. And we were tweeting out being like, we're around. 
you can hang out with us. <laughs> yeah, but only a couple people responded and they're like, I'm busy because I'm an adult, so pay attention to us on Twitter because you can find out where we are and we can hang out. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all later.